Welcome back to the Build a Basement. So in this video we're going to be doing a double time prep of our linear rails in preparation for mounting them on our Voron 2.4 R2 printer. It's going to be a quick 10 minute video. I'm just going to dialogue over this thing while it's going. Right now I'm prepping up, uh, opening up those packages, getting those rails out. Some double times. There's a work happening there, huh? So straight out of the package, these rails were pretty decent. Um, I didn't notice any clunking, no real grinding sounding, or anything like that. They um, they were pretty decent, so no problems there. Send the rails on a white rag, and inside that spray bottle uh, is some 90, it was 91 or 93 percent ISO. Uh, basically, I'm putting that tip right up against that rail and I'm shooting it through the hole to the back side of the rail so I'm actually pushing that ISO in with a little bit of force and as I do that I'm sliding that rail back and forth um, just to not only move those um, bearings on the inside of them a little bit but also make sure that that shot is getting through to everything so I'm forcefully kind of pressure washing the inside of these rails with some ISO is what, what that pretty much comes down to and obviously at this point the rag is an obvious part of that equation or else I'd have a table full of uh, ISO. So I'm just kind of wiping off the excess at this point. Trying to get rid of any ISO that's left on these as well as work out any grease or anything in there and if anything had really come out really dirty if I noticed a ton of anything on any of uh, any of these wipes there's a little bit but not a ton um, of you know either metal f you know fragments or some black machining goo or whatever type um, then I could have gone through and done a second of that uh, ISO pressure wash of mine so Things are going to be pretty clean when we get done with them. Um, aside from actually taking the rails apart and removing the bearings and soaking them and then putting everything back together, which honestly could take a half hour plus per rail, this is probably the best method I have or I've come up with to, um, to clean those out. Again, using ISO 90 plus inside of a spray gun, fixing it to the back of the rail, and pressure shooting it through the rail uh, into the the slide uh, really 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 working those bearings out so I'm going to clean these up real quick yeah there's a little bit of that that goo uh, not a ton of it but I'd say if I had gotten as much as I got out of all of these rails on one, I would have probably re-ran that one, but these things were pretty clean. There wasn't much in them, just some really light oil, uh, just to keep them from tarnishing on their trip over. Uh, they were sealed in bags as well, so pretty good job. And a little bit of cleanup there. Again, ISO 90 plus, it will dry up on its own in seconds. So. So now, um, part of the fact I'm a little bit out of camera, that I think I fixed that in a second, but the um, there is always going to be a little bit left in there. So I'm just using a little pressurized air just to push out the remaining ISO and whatever else is in there with it. Uh, and it's just going to put it to the edges and that pretty much is going to dry out whatever is in there. So basically push them out with air, let it dry out, move them around a little bit, make sure we get kind of a push of air through all of it, through all the crevices, around all those bearings. Get rid of all that alcohol that's in there so that uh, there's uh, nothing left when we're done. We don't really want alcohol inside of those bearings when we're actually greasing them up. So, it goes through pretty quick. Even at real speed, uh, this is probably about a 20, 25 minute procedure. So, 
this 25 minutes is the difference between having to rip everything back down, which could easily take, I don't know, four or five hours, versus uh, having something that's going to last for probably a couple, two, three years without any additional maintenance. So, be a little anal here, I'm just lining them all up in order. That's more for a for me thing than uh, for you. Uh, fix my camera angle. You're welcome. And we got our EP lube here. Uh, that's Mobilux. So lithium grease is what it is. It's not super thick, but it's not super thin. Um, I like to go a little bit thicker on this grease than uh, the thinner lithium grease, the white stuff. And that's more or less because uh, it will stay there now. It will also cause a little bit more um, stick on your rails. So not going to be as free moving, but it's going to last a lot longer. So I'm just working that back and forth with, with it all in there. Just make sure all the bearings have a little bit on them. Again, this is rinse, repeat. Here's my MGN9s. I, I didn't do the 12. Uh, that's going to be separate. I'll do that as part of the build. We'll do that one in uh, real time when we build the gantry. So, all right, some more fancy camera work there. So, now I'm just cleaning up the excess grease off these. I'm using my same rag I had the ISO on. Um, it's helping break down what's on the outside a little bit. I don't want to leave a ton on the outside. Remember, it's what's on the inside that counts, especially when it comes to these bearings. So, I'm going to work these back and forth. That's kind of the big thing. And, and what I'm looking for here is basically if I, if I rise, after I work this back and forth and kind of get that lubrication all over that bearing, uh, all over the bearings, as well as on the inside of that rail, that notch, uh, how well does it slide, you know? So, my test on that is to bring it up to the top when it's vertical and it will slide down. It'll do it slowly, but if it makes it all the way from top to bottom without catching, then everything should be good. So doing that with all the rails right there. And now if I do have one that does catch, I'm going to attempt to work it a little bit more to get that, that, that grease everywhere. And if I had one that didn't make it, I'd restart the process, basically the cleaning process, make sure I didn't miss anything. There you go. So I'm doing back and forth, but I'm also doing kind of a uh, jerky motion on those as I go, because I'm really trying to get those bearings moving uh, along the whole length of the rail, but also within the carriage. So there you go. And last but not least, And it's gonna make it. Oh, nope. Work it a little bit more, see what we get. Nope, well, yeah, almost. Let's see what's going on there. We'll work it away. Bingo. All right, now, it's gonna use a paper towel now. Yeah, there could be a little bit of lint coming off this paper towel, but it's not gonna be a lot. I'm going to soak down this paper towel with some silicone oil, silicone lubricant. I'm just wiping down the rail, the carriage, everything. And this is more of a um, uh, rust protection than anything else. So uh, these rails are relatively hard, so they will rust in the air uh, if there's any humidity. So you want to get some thin oil on them. And uh, have them so they're protected. Anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, and if you've checked out my other videos and you're interested in more videos, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you for the uh, rest of the build. And I'll see you soon. Hope you enjoyed.